Hey, it's Caleb with App Design Tips, and today I want to show you how Figma reinvented the pen tool. And I'll show you this by recreating some of these icons here. And so just to start off with, I'm going to zoom into this area here for this shopping bag. And I want to show you how you can recreate this shopping bag using the pen tool. So we're going to click on pen tool here, and just really quickly, I'm going to start to plot down my points to make the shape of this bag. And now the cool thing is I can continue along with this for this bag handle. And I'll just click and drag for a little bezier curve and I will end it here. So we can see we've recreated it and there's some points that we need to finish. So if I click on this move tool, I'm just going to hold down shift and select these corner nodes. And I can change the radius here pretty easily to four pixels. And I can even fill this area if I use this paint bucket tool. I can click on this fill and it fills it with a nice gray, but I'm going to change that to black here. And we're done. We can fine tune this as much as we want. Um, kind of scale this around here. Same thing with this bag handle. If we want to increase the curves, we can do that. But we can see that the connections between this handle and between the bag are connected so it behaves a little differently than what you might be used to in Illustrator or other design tools. Now another thing that makes this so great is I can choose at any time to increase or decrease the stroke weight here and it'll decrease that across this entire icon. Now we're going to move over to this battery here and I'm going to do a similar thing. So I'm going to jump into the pen tool and just very quickly I'm going to draw out this battery here. and we'll do something like this. And then I can continue down this line by clicking right here and just clicking down here to show like this half filled battery. Now again, I can use this paint bucket tool and just fill that in and I can choose black or red or whatever color I want. And then I can click on a few areas here that I want to be rounded. So I'm gonna choose five pixels here for the radius. And you notice this one here didn't change, and that's because I have some drag handles here I need to get rid of. So as soon as I get rid of these, then it will interpret that the way that I have intended. I'm going to change this to two pixels here. And now another cool thing, because I'm using the move tool, I can move this back and forth to determine how full my battery is. Now I want to have a two pixel radius here and I actually think that this is a little bit much so um, these radiuses I'm going to change to three pixels here and so we have a nice battery icon and we can move back over into this mailbox icon here and just real quickly again I'm gonna use this pen tool and I'll just click a few things out here I'm gonna start off with just a rectangle and then I can start off here I want this to be a little bit curved here so I'm going to do that just like that and then I want to match the curve over here. So I'll do let's say uh, 8 pixels and now that we've done that I can kind of just change some of this up to make it match and I can keep on going. So I'll click on this pen tool and just draw a few more shapes here and the cool thing about something like this too is I can keep on going here and fill this in using the paint bucket tool and last part I need to draw the stem of this mailbox and now I want to choose a black fill and so we see we have a combination of strokes and fills within one icon and very easily we can change the size of any part of this if we want this to increase or decrease um, same thing with the stem here so it's all one icon, they're all connected, and we can make some easy changes here. Now I'm gonna show you something a little bit easier here. So very quickly, again, we can choose to just plot down some points. And here we can just create this little fold here, and we'll create these little note lines, and paint this with a black fill and we have those notes and I can choose not a 40 pixel stroke, I'm gonna do a four pixel stroke. And here, now that I'm done, 
I can choose to set a corner radius on these if I want to, or I can set the caps to be different. So if I want the cap on this corner to be rounded, I can click on this node, go into this more menu, and click on this join to be round, or the cap to be round, and I can do that individually on each corner, or I can select all corners here and choose to have a rounded join. So we can see that that looks a little bit cleaner there. And same thing with these ends here. I don't want the corners to be rounded because there aren't any corners, but the cap. So I'm going to change the cap to be round here. And so we have that nice curve inside of there. So you have some advanced editing on individual lines and nodes here that makes it really nice. Now, this diamond icon, this is a little bit unique one because it has a lot of strokes inside. So what I'm going to do is just use this pen tool here and I'll start off the same way that I did with some of these other icons. So I can just plot these points here. But now one cool thing is if I click and I drag to connect this little bridging line here, I can also click on this corner and click here. And I can click here and here if I want or if I select the move tool I can move things around if I want, or I can hold down Option and actually copy this. And when I copy this, it copies this anchor and all the points associated. So I'm going to just snap it here. And you can easily just click on a line and delete it, and everything else will still connect. And then another cool feature is this connect through the intersection. So I'm going to connect this to the center here and connect this to the intersection. And very easily, when I click on the Move tool now, I have a shape that's all joined across each bridging connection here. And I can change this however I want to. And I can even at this point choose to fill in certain areas. If I want some of these to be filled in here, for example, I can do that very easily and just choose which areas that I want to be filled. Now there's another feature that's really great for this pen tool and that's allowing you to intersect different lines as you're creating shapes. And I know that's a little bit confusing but let me show you what I mean here. So if I click on a shape, I'm just going to click on this polygon tool and just draw a, a quick polygon here just for reference. And I'm going to choose to have five uh, corners here on this polygon. And I'm doing this because I want to draw a star just to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to use the pen tool again and I can click on each corner here and just click and drag and I'm starting to create a star here but you notice that I'm intersecting each line here and Figma doesn't really care. At this point I can fill this star if I want and I just filled it but you can't see because the fill is gray so I'm going to change that to black and we have a nice star created here. Again I can choose the corners that I want these corners and I can choose to have the join be rounded and now the star looks a lot better here. Now another great thing about this pen tool and these icons is you can scale this in a number of ways depending on how you're going to use it. For this mailbox example I'm going to hold down option here and usually if you scale things and this is all mostly strokes so if I scale this it's not going to scale the weight of that stroke and it doesn't even scale the corner radiuses so it looks pretty unpredictable here. But if I click undo here I can click in this little down arrow and use the scale tool and if I scale this it's going to scale the stroke as well as the radiuses to look a lot better and I still have control over the stroke if I want to change this to four pixels for example. So it works out really nice designing these icons in a way that makes use of the strokes and the fills so that you can scale this up or down and maintain the stroke width that you want for each size. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to be notified of future tips and tricks.